Good afternoon. This is Joe Pryor with the Virtual Real Estate Team.com in Oklahoma City, part of Redbud Realty and Associates. And today I would uh, like to do a series of videos for you, two videos really, uh, talking from a personal perspective. There's two specialties that I've had for a long time. Uh, one I've had since the beginning I was in real estate, which is investment real estate, and the second one is helping people avoid foreclosure with short sales. These are two of the most uh, difficult, educationally intense specialties you can have in real estate. And I have the question all the time, ask me, well, why do you do this? And so what I'd like to do is back-to-back -back two videos explaining why I do investment real estate first, and then in a later video, why I do short sales. Now, investment real estate is something I've done from the beginning of my career, because when I entered real estate in 1989, Oklahoma was still in the doldrums. We still had an energy bust, an energy bubble from 1982. Prices were very, very low here, a lot of foreclosures, something similar to many people have had around the country. And so naturally, investors flock to that to buy low so that later they can sell high. It's a cliche that works. But, you know, about three years into doing this, and as the market started to recover just a little bit, I decided I needed to know what the numbers meant. I knew what constituted a good home buy, but not necessarily what constituted a good investment. So I sought education, which has been lifelong. And so what's happened is that I have uh, uh, learned the terminology. I've learned things like internal rate of return and cash, flow, uh, uh, cash on cash and capitalization rate. I know how to compute these things. I know how to do them accurately. I know how to evaluate values along with it. Uh, I know how to give people the analysis that they need, put teams together uh, in terms of helping investors, not only with the financing, but all the way to the property management system. I love investment property, not just because I'm nostalgic for the way that I started. Investment real, uh, real estate is a very clean thing. It is something where... You know, we don't care about necessarily the color of the walls. We don't care if it's the middle of the block or the end of the block. What we care about is that the numbers work. And so they either add up or they don't. So when an investor comes to me and says, Joe, uh, I want a 10% a capitalization rate, a 20% cash on cash, and a 5% vacancy rate, do you have properties that would fulfill those requirements? I can say yes, I do or no that I don't. And so that is how investment real estate works. And I like the numbers. I like to be able to compute those things. But what's behind computing it? What's behind the investor? Well, obviously there's wealth accumulation and, uh, and then there's some other things about paying expenses. So let me give you some examples over the years that I've been in real estate of how I've helped people. Uh, for instance, I've helped a lot of investors that have had new children. They've, they've had children born and they're, they're, they're babies at that point, but they're already thinking about their college education. One of the things that investors have done with me is buy a home uh, and with the cash flow, pay it off in say 10 years, but keep it for the 18 years until the, the son or daughter gets to college. You know, have a paid off investment they can borrow against or they can sell and they can help pay for the, for the child's college education. It's a wonderful reason to buy long-term investment property. And that's all I really do. I really deal with the long-term investors. I'll tell you right now, Oklahoma City, because of its economy and how solid it is, is not a flipping market. This is not something where you can get rich quick here. I deal primarily with long-term investors, and that's what I'm dealing with. Now, another thing is retirement. I mean, I'm getting into a retirement age, and we start going, oh, my gosh, do I want to depend on Social Security? Will it be here? Do I have enough money? I mean, will my 401k be down to one penny the day I die? It's pretty tough to... to, uh, to uh, uh, time things with the amount of money that you put back. But in terms of real estate and real estate investing, you constantly have your asset that's paying off for you, whether it's paid for or not. We do positive cash flow. So if you are having someone make your investment while you are still having a loan on the property and you have $300 a month coming in on the average, which is something that is return of and on investment, you're very happy because you have a depreciation schedule that offsets the taxes. And so you have real cash flow coming in. You do that times 10, you pay those things off, and all of a sudden, you've got $10,000 a month coming in from investments, and you still have your asset there. It's not something like a 401k that you're running down to the last penny. So I have helped people build up uh, their retirement funds so that there is money there to be taken care of. And believe me, retirement's expensive. There's a lot of things that we have to do in terms of health care. So I'm very proud of the fact that I've helped people build their retirement. 
And then that basic last thing, which is building wealth, diversifying your portfolio, having a safe investment that's giving you an 18% annualized return or even a 22% before tax annualized return that you can bank on for the rest of your life. Because real estate has, in terms of investing, has one of the smallest downsides uh, that I know of. And, and not that I want to take a downside away. Obviously, that's been discovered here in the last five years. But if you invest intelligently, if you invest for the long term, if you're very, very careful, and if you deal with someone that's not greedy, that really wants to have you as a client for life, you can buy real estate in a conservative way that advances your portfolio, that as I said before is an asset either to build wealth, to pay for your child's college education, or to help build your retirement. And I'm very proud of the fact that I've been able to help people do that for the last 22 years. This is Joe Pryor with the virtualrealestateteam.com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values with the speed of technology.